Code on Time is an advanced rapid application builder tool that allows creating enterprise-ready applications for mobile devices and the web. While it's not required, the first recommended step to build your next great app is to have a database. In this example, I have a simple test database hosted via MySQL that contains a list of products organized by category and with some information about the supplier. Let's learn how to connect to my database and create my first project. In order to connect to MySQL, we'll need to install the connector net component on our database host. We'll use the MySQL installer tool to add this feature. Assuming you have MySQL database installed on your computer, you should have MySQL installer present already. If not, you can go ahead and download it from the Oracle website. In MySQL Installer, let's go ahead and add a product. Under MySQL Connectors and Connector Net, let's select the latest version and proceed to install the connector. Once installation is complete, we're ready to build our first app. Let's create a new MySQL project. Go ahead and set a name and press Create. Press Next. And now we'll need to configure our database connection. We'll select the MySQL provider and use the three dot button to configure our string. My database server is running locally on my device, so I'll say the server name is localhost. Specify the username and password and set the name of your database. Go ahead and hit test to double check that it works. Looks like we've entered the parameters correctly. So we'll save our connection string and press Next. The next step involves us defining our models. These models represent how a database schema is seen by the app builder and is used to compose a set of controllers, views, fields, pages, and other elements. Let's start with products. In our data model, we can see the tables defined at the bottom of the screen and a list of fields that will be outputted at the top of the screen. We can then customize properties on the fields. In addition, we can see that foreign key references have been followed and they'll take the first required string field from any foreign key references to be used as an alias for lookups. We can go ahead and borrow more fields Let's bring in the city and the country of the supplier. Next, let's fix some of the labels. We can go ahead and call supplier company name supplier. And categories category name, just category. We'll want all our grids to sort by default on the product name. So we'll specify ascending sort type. Finally, let's add a calculated field and we'll calculate the total stock. We'll grab the unit price and multiply it by the units in stock. And we'll rearrange this field to be placed after units in stock. Our product's data model is ready to go. Let's go ahead and save it. Notice that it recommends us to pick up categories and suppliers database entities. These database entities will need to be defined as data models in order for the lookups to have a relevant data controller to query against. Let's sort categories by category name.
In suppliers, we'll sort by company name. We can also remove fields that we'll never want to interact with in our system. Let's take out the facts column. Go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and press next until we get to the generate screen. And let's proceed to generate our app. After a few seconds, the app will be started via IIS Express and will open in your default browser. We have left the default ASP.NET membership system enabled, so we'll go ahead and sign in using the standard account. Admin. And we can navigate to our products page. We can now view all our products in a grid. We also have various view styles available to us, including list, cards, as well as some automatically created charts. We can go ahead and print a report of our products. We can always go in create new ones, edit existing ones, or delete them. All of these features and more are available out of the box when using Code on Time Web App Generator. Learn more about building advanced apps and implementing custom business logic by checking out our other videos on this channel.